Oh, no, I say to the players that it's only half time. We know that uh, we play against a very, very good side with a very good pedigree on the African continent, particularly in club uh, competitions. And uh, that we have to play as well, if not better than we did in South Africa, to get a good result here. We show a lot of respect. <coughs> Excuse me. We show a lot of respect to our opponents. We always approach every game with a lot of humility. And that's the same message that I say to the players. Well, we start the game 0 0. We first get a lot of information based on the starting lineup. And then again, also, it depends on what happens with regards to Al Akhle and what we anticipate. For an example, in the first half in South Africa, Hani starts at right back. But then Taufik comes in as a sub. The dynamics on the right change completely. Pursue Tao moves from left to right. And then the dynamics change completely. Morrison starts instead of Karaba, for an example. And then the dynamics change completely. And then you've got to understand if uh, Rabia Abdel Munim uh, start again also. Do, do they have a double pivot with Dieng, uh, Atia, or maybe Koka starts? A Koka is left footed. Uh, and there's more diagonals to the right hand side with Koka in the team. And so it depends on what happens with Alakle and how they start and what we see. And because if they start with the, the different dynamics, then of course we've got to respond and, and uh, deal with the game the way the opposition is trying to present the game to us. But the one important thing is, I hope there's three good teams tomorrow. I, I am very surprised that uh, I'll actually complain about everything. Before the first leg, I'll actually complain that we play at 3 o'clock. And yet they are allowed to fixture the game at their time in the second leg. That suits them. You hear no complaints from Mamalodi Sundowns. I am surprised that Al Akhli are always complaining about referees only when they lose. Jose Mourinho once said that uh, once a big club starts to look for other factors, apart from football when they lose, they start losing their status as a big club. And I hope that's not the case with Al Akhli because they are the flagship of African football. The rest of the world and Europe look at Al Akhli as a reflection of what African football represents. And so my question after the complaints is, what is really the intention? Because 
because I can go through a list of incidents where the referees did not act in what I thought would be the just way. And first is to acknowledge that Hani comes into the match already with a yellow card. And the rules are if he picks up a second yellow, he misses the next match. He makes a clear foul in 10th minute 43 against Tapelo Maseko. No yellow. He makes another foul, 39th minute, 53. Against, against the same Tapelo Maseko. Stops a promising attack and gets no yellow card. Twenty-seven, twenty-seventh minute, eighth second. There's a sliding tackle from Atia on Gaston in front of the box. No yellow card. Abdel Mulim, a couple of seconds on twenty-seventh minute, exactly fouls Tembazwane. No yellow card. 31 minute 04, late slide tackle on Gaston Sirenio. No yellow card. 36-16, Abdel Munim pulls Tapelo Maseko down in front of the box. No yellow card. All of these are promising attacks and situations where the offender should get a yellow. And the laws of the game are very clear. Persistent fouling is a cautionable offense. And I would say that the coach being the, as smart as he is, he pulls Hani off because he's on the edge and puts Taufik at right back. There's a shout for a handball that hits Slim, 56-43. No penalty for sundowns. 65-34, Mendieta is pushed inside the box by Afsha. No penalty. No yellow. Malul, 76-55, Malul, Fouls Tapelo Maseko. Sun nouns at the end of the game. Seven fouls, two yellow cards. Al Akhli, 13 fouls, one yellow card. Now, I think if there is a team that needs to complain, it should be Mamelodi Sundowns. But we don't complain. Because ours is to try to understand where the direction of the CAF leadership is trying to take African football. We want to get into a space, and I think through the leadership of Dr. Patrice Motsipa, and I'm not saying this because he's South African, or a former owner of Mamelodi Sundowns, but I think you can see even with the start of the African Football League that the vision and the objectives for African football are that it has to be in the same space as the rest of the world.
بالنسبه لاي فان داونز لكن انا اذكر انه فعلا في اداره احنا بناخد فيها من الاتحاد الافريقي لكره القدم بدليل وجود البطوله دي الافريكان فوتبول ليج بدليل اقامه البطوله دي فكل دي حاجات بتؤكد على رؤيه الاتحاد الافريقي لكره القدم. And the game of football, according to FIFA, which governs globally the game, is that of fair play and that you can win, lose, or draw. And when you lose, you show good sportsmanship. You shake hands. Especially when the opponent was better than you. And so let's go to the data. Mamelodi Sundown, 67% ball possession. Al Akhli, 33% ball possession. 89% pass completion. 639 passes completed. 639 passes completed. Double the amount with Al Akhli's 314. 15 shots at goal. Only three for Al Akhli. When an opponent is better than you, you shake hands. You show good sportsmanship. You congratulate the opponent. And you make sure that the game of football remains the game of football, which is a game that we all love as the beautiful game.